The first mile is mental. The rest are all heart. It's not really about the competition. Your biggest challenge in a race is yourself. You're often racing against time. You're frequently running everything through your mind. You're always competing against preconceived ideas. It's not really the person next to you that you worry about. The things you learn from sports, setting goals, being part of a team, confidence, that's invaluable. It's not about trophies and ribbons. It's about being on time for practice, accepting challenges and being fearful of the elements. I love to swim. When I jump in the water, I feel like I'm 12 years old again. It's really funny how it does that to me. For me, music makes my smile brighter during my workouts. It adds that extra something that motivates me to go further or work harder. That's what I love about running, I feel like we all celebrate each other. Even if you're racing somebody at the finish, it's like you're in it together. I enjoyed every bit of my swimming career. I think that's the most important advice, to enjoy what you do. Sports have always been a huge part of my life and my conversations. It is a thrill and an honor to be a part of this groundbreaking show. I am a competitor at heart, but a true sports fan to my core. Thinking about your training should put a smile on your face. As cliché as it sounds, you are worth all the time and energy you've put in. Unleash your emotions with a cheer, or even a signature roar, after a tough workout. I've been barefoot most of my life, either flip-flops or barefoot on the pool deck. Although you'd think that would make me a good candidate for barefoot running, that doesn't work with me. There is nothing in this world that I love more than my family. To be able to share the joy of running with them at the Runner's World Half Marathon and Running Festival where we can all participate together is as close as you can get to a perfect weekend. I don't care how much you're working out, when you go to put on that bikini, you're like, oh no. Here's what I've learned about eating healthy when you're busy, it's all about preparation. Make your snacks on Sunday, and you will be good to go until Thursday or so. I love to run, but training can be hard, especially with a family and a crazy travel schedule. I often do sprints with my kids, where they bike and I run alongside them so we can race each other for a quarter mile or shorter repeats. I have so much to learn when it comes to running. I just don't ever want it to feel like a chore. When I choose to sign up for a race or go out for a run, it's to make myself feel good, and I almost always do. I think some parents fall into a trap, teaching their kids that everything is always perfect and everyone is always a winner. I slice up a ton of cucumbers, celery, carrots and red and yellow peppers. Keep them in your fridge so you always have something handy to curb your snack attack. The kids know what I'm doing when I exercise, and that's powerful. So don't just tell your kids to go play outside. Take a moment off your computer, put on your tennis shoes, hop outside and help them start their game and run off some energy. Swimming is great because there are levels of goals. First, when I was four, it was making it to the other end and overcoming the fear of standing up in front of everybody at a swim meet because I was such a shy kid. As a woman, you need to take control of your health. There's no harm in going in and getting checked out. Eventually, you have to ask yourself, do I want to live at 100% or 80%? When I was training for the Olympics, I didn't eat the way I should have. I missed out on much needed protein and opted for every easy carb. Quite simply, my diet has and will always be everything in moderation. People look at Olympic athletes and think they must cut out all those things everyone else indulges in, and speaking for myself, I never did. 
Protein is important and hard for me to get in a hurry. We're busy. I don't always remember to thaw the chicken for dinner. I always have eggs, and they're light and satisfying. I never feel stuffed at the end of it. Daily repetition matters when a kid is learning to swim. It can be 20 minutes in a lesson or an hour practicing for a couple of weeks. Preparing mentally takes more out of you than the physical aspect of it. I grew up in Northern California, where it was consistently in the hundreds in the summertime. My dad didn't think he should have to turn on the air conditioning when we had a swimming pool in our backyard, it was our built-in air conditioner. The more sleep you get in before the clock turns midnight, the more rested you feel no matter what time your alarm goes off. I started swimming when I was four because my brother wanted to join a swim team, and I wanted to do what he did. They said I had to be six, but if I could swim a lap, then I could participate. So I swam a lap, and the rest is history. Honestly, if I can plan out a few meals ahead of time, I feel much more organized. A great way to get all the right nutrients is to make a colorful plate, mix of good vegetables, carbohydrates, and protein. If you notice all your vegetables are green, change it up and add another color for a variety of benefits in one meal. Summer Elizabeth Sanders born October 13, 1972 in Roseville, California, and attended Cavett Junior High School and Oakmont High School. Sanders is an American sports commentator, reporter, television personality, actress, former competition swimmer and Olympic champion from 1992. 1992 Olympic Games Gold 200 meters butterfly, gold 4 times 100 meters medley relay, preliminary heat silver 200 meters IM bronze 400 meters IM sixth 100 meters butterfly. 1991 World Championships, gold 200 meters butterfly, silver 200 meters IM bronze 400 meters IM eight United States National Championships. 2 to 100 Y butterfly, 2 to 200 Y butterfly, 1 to 200 Y I M, 2 to 400 Y I M, 1 to 200 M I M. 9 N C A A national championships, 2 to 200 Y butterfly, 2 to 200 Y I M, 2 to 400 Y I M, 1 to 4 X 50 Y medley relay, 1 to 4 X 100 Y medley relay. 1 to 4x 100y freestyle relay 1991 pan pacific championships gold 200 meters im 400 meters im 200 meters butterfly 1989 pan pacific championships silver 200 meters im